with that down, guys, let's get into it here, shall we? You know, one of the movies that I'm really looking forward to that maybe not everybody is looking forward to is Morbius 2. No, I'm kidding. Venom 3. I love the Venom movies. More love the first one. I really quite enjoyed the second one. It was a big step down from the first one. I still enjoyed the second one. And I'm really looking forward to part three. I have really enjoyed the trailers. I'm a little iffy on them using Null, but I get it. Uh, we'll, we'll see what the connections there are. But you guys know that you can't have a movie these days without having a customized popcorn bucket. Now, Dune wasn't the first movie to have a popcorn bucket, but I mean, it kind of triggered the trend because after they triggered, Dune, they triggered after that, the fleshlight that they called, uh, they converted fleshlights into a popcorn bucket. Then we got the Wolverine and uh, the Deadpool and Wolverine popcorn bucket, which was awesome and hilarious. And we had an alien one. Well, now apparently, according to reports, this is from comicbookmovie.com. This is going to be Regal's Venom popcorn bucket. Well, listen, you got to have somewhere to put your uh, uh, popcorn. Be careful what you say next. Your popcorn. popcorn. What? Popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. That's what it is. This is not dick in a box. Popcorn. This That's is... how everyone likes it too, right? Really toothy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was boy. the same thing with the... Well, I mean... Oh, really? Who have you been dating? Back in the... <laughs> That's how it this is horrifying. That's a new t shirt. Totally. Everybody awful. likes it toothy. Chris Carr. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's. Uh. Look, first of all, let me throw this out there quick. While this is on outlets such as Cinema Blend, ComicBookMovie.com, and a bunch of others, I'm not 100% sure that this is real. It looks. I mean, I could be totally wrong. It looks a little composited. Like, it looks like maybe it's a. Uh, like a Photoshop or something? Maybe not, but let's let's operate on the assumption here that this is real for a moment, all right? If it is, the good thing I'll say about it is that this is clearly a collectible, right? right. Like, it's not just another metal tin that's going to sit somewhere in your cupboard or whatever. I mean, this Bed is... Stand. What's that? Your nightstand. Nightstand. See, when you're done your popcorn, you put a little light bulb down in the middle. You got a perfect, the first thing you see when you wake up in the middle of the night is, is this. Is that? How charming. Just perfectly good. <laughs> um, I mean, it is, it's something you can display. It's definitely displayable. So I, I will give it all that. But if this thing is real, how much is that thing going to cost? It's probably going to be 40 bucks and it's probably going to be worth the 40 bucks. There's you some, like it? You like what you're seeing here? I mean, a lot of the exclusive popcorn buckets, they'll be $40. And like what you said, it'll just be a tin. It'll be like an exclusive graphic around a tin can. No one wants that. We want to see more stuff like this if, it is, if this is real. You know what I mean? Listen, all I know Looks is great. that, I'll tell you what, this, this is a whole new revenue stream for movies because on opening day of Deadpool and Wolverine, some of you guys have heard me talk about this, but on opening day of Deadpool and Wolverine, Ann and I had the very first screening, 3 p.m. screening. It was the first screening. We got there thinking that we were going to be able to get one of the Wolverine open mouth popcorn buckets. Yeah. yeah. And they were already gone. I'm like, but this is the first screening. He said, we opened the doors to our theaters at nine. We had 200 people in line, they told us. 200 people in line when we unlocked the doors at nine o'clock this morning that were just there for the popcorn bucket. Uh, this is becoming a big business. But another reason why AMC, the, they need to get more popcorn buckets into theater because like you said, after we watched Deadpool and Wolverine, you didn't feel like buying it anymore. And they, they had yeah. more in stock. So they need to just quench everyone's thirst right when, like at the theater and not afterwards because not a lot of people buy that's it afterwards. That's a great point. Because I mean, that's another reason why their business is being like... I will say though, for... For collectors, there's a good secondary market for it. So I think people rush to get it to resell it. But yeah, but that's true. But there are, Ray's got a great point. There's a lot of people like me. I'm an impulse buyer in many ways. Me like, too. Me too. Anne would laugh if she heard me say that. Cause like when I'm considering make it, making a purchase, I'll research it for like six months. And then, but I, also, I'm kind of an impulse buyer. You're right. I walked into that theater for Deadpool and Wolverine, wanting to get the popcorn bucket. And when I couldn't get it the first day, I just didn't care anymore. I remember it happened at Comic Con yeah, too. Yeah, we had it. Remember Sideshow? Sideshow had a big display and they had a couple of these awesome collectibles. And like, I, I want, how do I buy? I want to buy this. 
Oh, no, you can do pre-order for that now, and you'll get it in eight months. I get it in eight months. That's that's all Rob, it's Rob's game, man. He's like, yeah. yeah, but you'll get it in eight months. No, like not you'll for me. That you ordered it. <laughs> and so you're right. They need to stock more of these because you're going to get the impulse yeah. buyers like me. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Chris, like, <laughs> does anything about this popcorn? I mean, clearly it's taking no. off. Does anything about this popcorn bucket thing craze appeal to you? I am not in the market for this. This is not for me. <laughs> you're in not any the way, target demographic. No, I don't. We've talked about this before. I don't like popcorn. I'm so sorry. More for you guys. Mm -hmm. I I am not a big collectibles person. My house says otherwise, but that's because I live with Logan, and uh, I have no desire to stick my hand in that. <laughs> I mean, what the I other than don't. popcorn? I was trying to think of other things you could just just get your dirty hands. Like but, what, uh, Ray? Like other things Flowers. you could use it for. What else do you grab? Halloween. Oh, put the candy in it. Oh, you can yeah. put the kids get the you candy. You put out of flowers. It. it could be a vase. It could yeah. be a vase. It See? could be a Halloween candy bowl. I still like the nightlight idea. The Hollywood candy bowl is actually a good idea. I think that's cute. You know what? Get one of those like seven or eight inch. Um, okay. What? Oh, yes. My. What? Android tablets. Uh huh. Mm. And like you kind of mount it in the mouth and it comes to your nightstand clock and a uh, little digital display. You know the um, I, the fruit by the foot? You can actually unroll it and make it stick out of the mouth. And you are you eating cookies? Out. Yeah. Tell me more things with measurements that you're putting in here. Ray, we are live. <laughs> we started talking about food and he's like, oh, and you're, eat. you're eating cookies right now. Oh, Wait, no. are they cookies you made or just They're cookies you made? No, and brought them all. Oh. Anyway. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active members. And Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike other apps on Prize Picks, it's just you against the numbers. All you have to do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Prize Picks is the best way to get action on sports in most states, including California, Texas, and Georgia. You see, Prize Picks puts their members first, so all withdrawals are are fast, safe, and secure. When my picks hit, I can get my money in as quick as 15 minutes. And I was pleasantly surprised by just how quick and easy it was to get set up and registered and ready to go. Here's a couple of examples of picking your more or less. Tyreek Hill for more than 90 receiving yards, Dak Prescott for more than 263 passing yards, and CD Lamb for more than 96 receiving yards. So guys, download the Prize Picks app today and use the code CAMPIA and get $50 instantly when you play $5. That's code CAMPIA on prize picks to get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Prize picks, run your game. Guys, the question <laughs> is for you. If this is real, again, I'm not convinced it is, but like I said, it's running on outlets like Cinema Blend, comic book movie, thing. like if it is real, what do you think about it? I mean, I think it's, again, it, it's a very cool looking thing. It's very unique. How much popcorn can you actually hold in it? I'm not completely <laughs> sure about that, but whenever you guys think about it, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.